As you guys know, I like to do taste tests of different kind of meats, like beef sticks, meat sticks, beef jerky, that type of stuff. And you guys have been telling me down in the comments to say, hey, Lane, you need to try some biltong. So for Christmas, my wife actually put some biltong in my stocking. So I figured that I would come here and do a taste test of it with you guys in this video. This is my first time having biltong too. I have no clue what to expect. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And we eat and we don't know what they are. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell too. That way you actually get notified of our videos. So from what I understand, the difference between beef jerky and biltong is that uh, beef jerky is, is not cured for as long as biltong is. Another thing too is that biltong, all, from what I understand, originated in South Africa. Now this is not a South African snack. This is made in the USA, as it says right here on the package. And I was looking for the, uh, the address of it. It comes out of Plano, Texas. This steer... steer Stierve? Steer? I don't know how to say it. S-T-R-Y-V-E. Stierve food makes a beef biltong. And so, uh, let's see. This is grass-fed, air-dried beef. Another thing that I really liked about this, too, is that it's zero sugar and 16 grams of protein. As y'all know, I'm on the carnivore diet. I've been doing it for about a year now. And uh, I, it's whenever it comes to beef jerky, it's really hard to find good beef jerky that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. And so this was a nice surprise uh, for me to find. It says, our grass-fed beef biltong is high-quality steak that has been seasoned with air-dried and air dried to mouth watering perfection. Once dried, we slice it ultra thin, ultra delicious pieces so that it that beef is done better. Let's see how thin this stuff is. I'm curious to know what it smells like too. Does it smell different from beef jerky? Okay, there's like a, uh, it smells very much like beef jerky. But there's definitely like a more vinegary smell that I'm smelling from there. I'm assuming that's probably a main ingredient. Yeah. Okay, so it's beef and vinegar. And then it contains 2% or less of salt, raisin juice concentrate, black pepper, white pepper, garlic powder, coriander, clove, and nutmeg. Another thing that I like about this is that I can read everything on the ingredients list. It smells nice. It's got the zipper bag too, so if you don't want to eat the whole bag, you can simply zip it up and... Uh, and save it for later. Look, there's the nutrition facts if you guys want to pause the video if y'all care about that. Also, I'll link this up down in the description below that you can see the nutrition facts a little bit easier on the website. But okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see the ultra thin slicedness of it. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, that is fairly thinly sliced. It's like a, like a, a piece of ham, you know? You can go to the deli and you ask for ham. They have that big slicer maduder thing. They put the big thing of ham on it and they go, Shh. I usually get the thin sandwich. What kind of sandwich meat do you guys like? This is a little bit, this is more than the thin sandwich. This is about three thin sandwiches put together, if I had to guess. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we taste like here. I don't want to taste this whole thing so I don't fill my mouth. So I'll just get a little cut right there. Did you guys hit that thumbs up button yet? Definitely appreciate that if y'all want to hook that up. Okay, what do we have? Try to move it around my mouth so I can really get those flavors. It's not as salty as beef jerky. And salt's in here. How much salt? Hmm. There's uh, 430 milligrams per serving. And a serving size to... Uh, I chopped it off. One ounce. It's one ounce. It's just, it's, it, oh, that's exactly what it tastes like. Hold on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. When we go to Costco, you can get these uh, packages of meat, um, and they're already sliced. It's, it's made for like a coucherie board, however you say it, charcuterie board, charcuterie board. How do you say that? Don't let me know down in the comments. But, um... There's a, a particular type of, like a salami that's on there. And the, the, the let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about. The salami has like this pepper ring around the rim of it. And so the salt and the black pepper and the white pepper and all that stuff, I'm tasting that like really strong. And it's cured in that vinegar. 
and uh, it's just it's very meaty and so it reminds me of that it's just air dried as opposed to something that's not dried and kept in the refrigerator. That tastes very, very similar to that. Have you guys ever had biltong before? Let me know that down in the comments below as well, and I'd love to know what your favorite kind of biltong, beef jerky, meat stick, or you have any favorite brands out there? Let me know that down in the comments below. I remember some guy on a, pre on a previous video said that he didn't really care about like the nutritional information about it. He was going mainly for taste, and he said that Slim Jims or Jack Links were his favorite. I wish I had his comment on me. I don't know who it was, but uh, I'd be curious to know what do you guys go for nutrition or taste whenever it comes to your meats um i go for a little bit of both i'd have to say this not my favorite i definitely prefer beef jerky over this i do like how easy it was to tear and break sometimes beef jerky can be a little bit more aggressive you have to get a little more aggressive with it and this as y'all saw i just tore it with my hands so if you guys want to check this stuff out i'll link it up down in the description below y'all can go read other people's reviews about it don't just take my word for it there's one guy literally trying it for the first time with you guys. If you guys want to see some of the other uh, beef jerky videos that I've done, I did one recently of this meat stick. It's called the fatty. It's like that thick around. I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.